Hey everybody, welcome back to Body Time. Harry McCullough here, Beryl Amity there. We did get some some work done though. You guys were up there for a while, and and, and l let's take a look at the, the the state journal fund and and the budget. Uh, so the budget's right at fifty one, well fifty point nine billion dollars. So uh, you guys spent a little money. Yes, just a little bit, huh? Um, yes, Ev every year, even though every other year is a fiscal only session, every year we are required to pass a budget and we are required that that budget be balanced. And unlike Washington, who can just print money, we actually have to truly balance the budget. Um, and some people may not like how we balance it, but here we are. Yeah, healthcare is 42% of that budget. Yes, um, and I, I like to bring the pie charts to show people visually, I'm a visual learner, how much of our budget is involved in the different segments of what the state actually pays for mm -hmm. and provides. Now, the, the general appropriations budget, which is what you're showing on the screen now, includes all the um, federal funding. It's a total budget. And so health care, and if you combine uh, K through 12 with higher ed, you'll see that education is still, um, it ranks right up there. Healthcare and education mm -hmm. are the two things that we spend the most money on. And um, if you'd like to switch to the next slide, State general fund, that's $11.8 billion in the budget that we just passed. The uh, state general fund portion of the budget is really the only portion that the legislature gets to play with. So when you hear that we have a deficit and we have to go find money like we did back in 2016, mm -hmm. we have to find it all in the Here, state general right. fund. And so this year, the state general fund is um, $11.8 billion, and just like the total budget, health care and K-12 through education are the largest portions of the budget. Yeah. Uh, no, we've been on a run, and we got a lot of federal money that comes in, but, yeah, you got to watch that you don't get this roller coaster where we're shutting down schools and hospitals again. That's right? right, and that's why it's critical. When we fall short, we have to try not to... You were saying in 2016, we were at 30 billion, and now we're at 50 billion just That's seven correct. years later. That's right. Uh, we went from 30 to 50, and, and I wasn't real good at doing math in my head, but that's a, a huge increase in a short right. period of time. About 40% in yes. six years. Yes, so uh, that's amazing. budget grows. Okay, so right. I know we need to get to some of the things in, in our district, right, in your district. Oh, well, I was going to talk about the oh, bills that we passed. Absolutely. Yes. No, no, please yes. do. Please okay. Do. Uh, first of all, we handled 1,646 different bills this session. 894 were regular bills, 29 were constitution, constitutional amendments, but don't worry, only eight of those passed, so we'll see those on the ballot this fall. And uh, 723 were resolutions and, and study resolutions. And so um, let me cover the constitutional amendments first, since that's what we will see on the ballot in the fall. Um, we have one that restricts a nonprofit's eligibility for property tax exemptions when the residential property is found to be... be um, an endangerment to public health and safety. We have one that requires the legislature to appropriate no less than 25% of non-recurring state revenues um, for application to certain state retirement system unfunded accrued liability. That's the retirement debt that we always talk mm -hmm. about. We call it the UAL. We have one that prohibits funding elections with money from foreign governments or non-governmental sources. You might uh, remember we talked about that one. Uh, yes. So <laughs> that was the, um, the the no Soros funding right, bill. Right. And uh, we have one that specifies that the right of freedom of worship in churches or other places of worship is a fundamental right that is worthy of the highest order of protection. And that one came from what we learned through the whole um, COVID shutdown of churches. Right. There were people who were really upset I was one, that um, churches were not allowed to meet in person, right. but yet you could still go to Protest. grocery stores, right. oh, Home right. Depot, yeah. um, abortion clinics. And so, yes, we yeah. don't want churches to be shut down Famously again. a church in central Louisiana that was yes. uh, shut down. Yes, uh, Pastor Tony Spell, mm -hmm. yes. And that, that went through the whole process, and the courts found that, yes, he should not have been shut down. So that's good. Um, and then we'll have some more... Uh, those are going to be in October. In November, we have one that clarifies the timing of gubernatorial actions on a bill and the return of a vetoed bill to the legislature is based upon the session that the bill comes from. That's a, a minor change. One that restricts the emergency use of the Revenue Stabilization Trust Fund to an annual maximum of $250 million. One that authorizes local governing authority of each parish to provide a limited ad valorem tax exemption for qualified first responders. And one that repeals the provisions of the Constitution, which create special funds within the state treasury, and they have a list of those funds. And those funds are funds that are not being used, so we're not 
getting rid of right. funds that are in use. And then we have a whole slew of, of great bills that passed on a variety of different topics. And let me see. Um, we, one of my favorite, the No Patient Left Alone law. Right. Uh, this one came also from what from we COVID experienced lockdowns, through the right. COVID lockdowns where you could not visit your loved one in a, in a hospital or right. a nursing home. And we had way too many people die without sure. a loved one present. Right. And so there's a bill that we passed that will try to make it so that that never happens again. And so I'm so glad that that one passed. Um, another one is the Stop Harming Our Kids Act. And this is the one that outlaws medical uh, procedures on minors for the purpose of um, changing his his sex. Gender. Yeah. And so um, that one was very controversial and got a lot of headlines, got a lot of grassroots to come Might to the Capitol vetoed. and testify. Yes, the governor has said publicly that he plans to veto it. So we will see yeah. what happens. Yep. Um, and there are just so many others. Maybe I could come back some other time oh, and I'll go over more no. of them. We'd, we'd love love to have you back at any time uh, no y'all did a lot of work up there it's so much so bad that this last 15 seconds or 15 minutes took over and made such a controversy among the same party i told you ronald reagan's 11th commandment was you shouldn't talk bad about republicans but yeah it seemed yeah. like y'all broke some people broke that commit well, commandment up there it, yes and it, it will inspire <laughs> many bills next year about procedures yeah. to make sure that we don't have these time crunches in yeah. the future all right bro well, you knew it was a contact sport when you went into politics oh yeah i'm having fun yeah <laughs> right. thank you so much thanks Harry. we'll be right back with more bite time after this 